Hello everyone, this is Blender Helix South. I'm doing a small tutorial for my friend Landon. He's actually on a call with me. I don't think you guys are going to be able to hear him. But uh, we're in Blender 3D today. We're going to learn a very, very simple, simple method on how to model a medieval sword. Uh, it's going to be a pretty simple sword and it's going to allow you guys to take something simple from this tutorial and use it to do something pretty advanced. So we don't have anything on our scene right now and this is given that you know all of the really fundamental basics of Blender and the hotkeys and everything. So we're gonna hit Shift A and add a cube. And obviously here's a cube. And um, what we're going to do is no special views or anything. Let's just hit R, X, and 45 degrees. So R, X, 45, and then hit Enter to confirm that. And then we can hit S, X, and extend. Size it down a little bit, just using S. And then we're gonna want to tab into edit mode and select all of these points, uh, Shift, right click obviously to select these points here and we're going to scale those on the z-axis to make sort of a blade and then we're going to select these points here using C or paint select and then we're going to use actually make sure you don't have any of these selected still just select that end and then uh, we're going to extrude here so you can just hit E and then move your mouse inwards or outwards and then we can hit W merge and then you want to hit at center and that'll merge all those points at your center now you can get a little bit stylized and you can turn off a uh, background including where you can see all these points and then you can box select those using B and drag and you could maybe scale those and make it a little bit cooler uh, shaped of a sword but we're just gonna leave it something like that so there's your sword blade and we'll just leave that as a separate object we'll drag it over here let's make a mesh cube another one and then we'll size it down and this is going to be our hilt now as you can see since we've been modeling our camera view our rotate our editor has been sort of messed up and if we want to center our view on the object we have selected we can hit period on the number pad right next to the enter and below the three so we can do that and then uh, let's just scale this a bit just so we can get something to work with and now we can tab into edit mode and we're going to hit control R on this hilt and uh, you're going to get your uh, slicey tool, it's actually called a loop cut, but uh, we're going to click that and then we're just going to click again and that'll cut that straight down the middle. And now what we can do is delete these vertices and we're going to add a modifier, we're going to add mirror modifier and that'll mirror that. So now we can make, uh, you know, differences to this side and it'll mirror it to the other side. So something that we could do is we could make another loop cut. Uh, this will take some time and some imagination from you, but I think that you can do it. And yeah, so we're just gonna extrude a little bit, do a little bit of fanciness here. And there's a really basic hilt. Uh, nothing too special. I could bevel that a little bit if I wanted to. Like so. And then what we can do is either extrude our handle from here, or we can just make a whole other uh, object for for the handle. And I think we're just going to make a whole other object. So there's a hill, there's a blade. We can go to add mesh plane, actually add mesh uh, cylinder. And we're going to rotate that by 90 degrees on the Y, so R, Y, 90. Size that down, size that on the X, and that'll be in the right spot now. We can center our view around that object again with the period on the numpad. And uh, we're just going to be shaping this by box selecting and extruding and all that kind of stuff, so bear with me. Do this while I am, while you're watching. Do this in Blender, it'll help out a lot. And uh, this is a very, very basic medieval sword. And if you learned anything on this video, please subscribe, like, comment, rate, and uh, show me your appreciation maybe in a video response by showing me the sword that you made in Blender. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.